Ever wondered how long a termite queen, the mother of all termites, can live? Be prepared to be amazed as these tiny creatures have a knack for surprising us with their extraordinary longevity. The humble termite, often unseen and unnoticed, is an intriguing specimen of Mother Nature's marvels. These tiny architects of the insect world are the unseen intruders, silently crafting their subterranean cities beneath our feet. They are the uninvited guests who slip into our homes unnoticed until, of course, the signs of their presence become too significant to ignore. Now imagine a termite queen, a mother who reigns supreme in this hidden world. She is the heart of the colony, the one who gives life to thousands of termites. Her lifespan, you ask? Well, it's astounding. A termite queen can live for decades, outliving many mammals, including us humans. But what does the extended lifespan of a termite queen mean for us and our homes? It's a question that taps into a fascinating yet often unsettling world, a world where nature's tiny builders can become a homeowner's worst nightmare. So let's embark on a journey, a journey that will take us deep into the life of a termite queen and the effects of her offspring on our homes. Stay with us as we delve into the remarkable life of a termite queen and the effects of her offspring in your house. The termite queen, the heart and soul of a termite colony, lives a life that's nothing short of extraordinary. Such an existence begins in a way that could almost be described as humble. Born as an alete or a winged termite, she embarks on a nuptial flight, where she and her future king will break away from their birth colony, shedding their wings in the process. They then begin to form a royal chamber, a fortress of sorts, where they will start their own colony. The queen's transformation from an elate into a regal figure is a fascinating metamorphosis. Her body swells, increasing in size to accommodate her future role as the colony's primary egg layer. This transformation marks a significant milestone in her life, the point where she truly becomes a queen. As the reigning monarch, the termite queen is the lifeline of the colony. She is the mother to all, the source from which the entire termite population springs. Every worker, every soldier, every future king or queen comes from her. Her role is to ensure the survival and growth of the colony, a task she carries out with astonishing efficiency. Her lifespan is nothing short of incredible. While most termites live for a few years at most, the termite queen lives for several decades, some even living to see their 50th year. This longevity is unheard of in the insect world, placing the termite queen in a league of her own. As for her prolific reproduction rate, the termite queen lays an egg approximately every three seconds. That's around 20,000 eggs a day. This astounding rate of reproduction ensures the constant growth and replenishment of the colony, making the termite queen one of the most productive creatures on the planet. The termite queen's remarkable life is a testament to the fascinating world of these often overlooked creatures. From her humble beginnings as an elate to her ascension as queen, from her role as mother to all termites in her colony to her astonishing lifespan and prolific reproduction rate, the termite queen's life is a story of strength, endurance and the relentless drive for survival. But what happens when these fascinating creatures find their way into our homes? Now, as captivating as the life cycle of a termite queen might be, the reality is far less enchanting when these tiny intruders take up residence in our living spaces. Termites, particularly the subterranean and drywood varieties, are infamous for their destructive tendencies. They are silent invaders working behind the scenes, often unnoticed until it's too late. These clandestine critters can cause significant structural damage to our homes, and they do so in a rather sneaky way. You see, termites feed on cellulose, an organic compound found in wood, it's their primary source of nutrition. Now imagine, if you will, thousands of these tiny wood munchers all feasting on the wooden structures of your house. Over time, they can compromise the integrity of your home, hollowing out wooden beams and structures from the inside out. The scary part, this can go on for years, often before homeowners even realize there's a problem. And it's not just the wooden structures that are at risk. Termites can damage plaster, metal siding, and even insulation. They can infiltrate books, furniture, and even valuable antiques, leaving behind a trail of destruction that can be both costly and heartbreaking. The financial implications of a termite infestation are also worth noting. The cost of repairing termite damage can run into the thousands, even tens of thousands. And that's not even taking into account the decrease in property value that can result from a termite infestation. 
It's a silent war, one waged in the hidden recesses of our homes, beneath floors and behind walls. It's a war that, if left unchecked, we stand to lose. In the grand scheme of things, termites play a crucial role in our ecosystem, aiding in the decomposition of dead and decaying wood. But within the confines of our homes, they are unwelcome guests, their insatiable appetite for wood causing havoc and destruction. The silent destruction caused by termites can lead to devastating consequences for homeowners. While termites play a crucial role in our ecosystem, it's essential to keep them where they belong, in nature, not in our homes. Indeed, these industrious insects are vital players in the grand scheme of nature, breaking down dead plant matter and recycling it back into the soil. However, when they cross the threshold into our living spaces, their otherwise beneficial activities can cause significant structural damage. So how do we strike a balance between embracing the ecological services termites provide and safeguarding our homes? The answer lies in proactive termite control and prevention measures. Regular property inspections are a homeowner's first line of defense. By identifying potential termite hotspots, such as piles of firewood or damp wood, and keeping them away from the house, you can significantly reduce the risk of a termite invasion. Sealing cracks and gaps in your home's foundation, walls, and windows can also help keep termites out. Furthermore, maintaining a dry and well-ventilated home discourages termite infestations as these creatures thrive in damp environments. However, if termites have already made themselves at home, professional pest control services are the way to go. These experts have the knowledge and tools to effectively eliminate termite colonies and implement strategies to prevent future infestations. By understanding these fascinating creatures and taking the necessary precautions, we can coexist without the threat of unwelcome damage. The balance between nature and our living spaces is not only possible, but also essential for a harmonious existence. So what have we learned about the life of a termite queen and the impact of her offspring in our homes? We've delved deep into the underground world of termites and discovered the impressive lifespan of a termite queen, a span that can stretch to several decades. This queen, the heart and soul of the termite colony, can produce millions of offspring throughout her lifetime. We've also explored the intricate relationships within the termite colony, from the hard-working soldiers and workers to the winged ladies ready to start new colonies. In our homes, these unseen intruders can wreak havoc, chewing through wood and causing significant damage. Yet they also play a vital role in the ecosystem, breaking down dead wood and returning nutrients to the soil. While the termite queen's epic tale may inspire awe, it's a reminder that these fascinating creatures are best admired from a distance, ensuring the safety and integrity of our homes.